This is my in-depth guide on how to quickly beat the Manta in Super Mario Sunshine. This video should help you get consistent Manta fights and get a better understanding of the fight in general. First of all, I'll explain some basic things about the Manta's behavior. The single Big Manta will always follow Mario around. However, if you go somewhere where he can't hit Mario, he'll go in the opposite direction. There are six spots like this in the level, underneath the four trees, and on top of the two cabanas. If you spray the Manta enough, he will split into multiple smaller Mantas. This process repeats itself four times. When the smallest size of Manta is sprayed, it's defeated. For Mantas that have split up to two times, their behavior stays the same as the big Manta. However, the Mantas which have split three or four times will move somewhat randomly across the map. In particular, they seem to have a tendency to go towards the edge of the level, which makes it very hard to spray them all quickly. However, once all mantas that are left are of the smallest size, they will turn purple in color. When they're purple, the small mantas once again behave much like the bigger ones, just slightly more random. Based on this knowledge, the optimal strategy for the fight is to minimize the time that the mantas will want to run away from Mario. In other words, we want to shorten the time that the mantas are small, but not purple, as much as possible. In order to achieve this, we want to force the manta into a position where it's easy to spray the splitting mantas. We do this by immediately moving on top of the left cabana as soon as the fight starts. The amount of time you wait here before you start spraying is crucial. We don't want the Manta to get too far away from Mario, but we also don't want him to get too close to the high ledge on the left side. What I've found to be the best timing to achieve this is to make sure that the water starts hitting the Manta just before his left wing, so to speak, is inside the water, as is illustrated right now in the video. Now, you simply need to keep spraying him until he makes two screeching noises. As the second noise ends, you can stop spraying. Next, you need to get closer so that you can spray the smaller mantas. Jump down onto the stairs and wait near the sign. This is a good time to zoom out your camera, as doing so will reduce the slowdown that is caused by this fight, as well as giving you a better view of it. The direction that the two smaller mantas are facing after the big manta splits is random. It's very important that you wait until they're both heading straight towards Mario. As soon as they are, start spam spraying the mantas. Now comes the most crucial part of the fight. As soon as the mantas split for the second time, you want to start spam spraying as fast as you can. Ideally, you want to split all these mantas instantly, so the resulting smaller mantas are right in front of you and can also be sprayed quickly. Regardless of whether you actually split all the mantas, Keep spam spraying until the only mantas that remain straight in front of you are of the smallest kind. Now you need to start hunting down any of the remaining bigger mantas. Mantas that escape onto the beach are generally the hardest to find and kill, so I suggest focusing on the right side first. It's important that you kill them as fast as possible, so don't spray randomly, but look for the bigger mantas and then spam spray at them to kill them. After you've eliminated all the bigger mantas, the final phase of the fight will start. Depending on how well the first few parts went, this can be anywhere between very quick and very slow. You'll want to kill the mantas that are close to Mario first, to give the ones that are further away time to come towards him. In general, this means you want to leave the mantas on the beach for last. Water management is very important here, as you can easily run out. Refill your water early into this phase, and stay close to a water source. I personally like to move around the big pond, and then move towards the small pond in the center for a second refill. After you've defeated the Manta, a final time saver is to press Y and go into the over the shoulder view, and look straight at the sun. This will make Mario face the shine after the cutscene ends, so you can simply press L and move straight forward towards it. And there you have it, that's how you do the Manta fight. I hope this video helped you out, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment on this video. I'll end this video off by showing you a full Manta fight that I got using the methods described in this video.